Alright people, welcome back to some more fake eye Friday. So we are continuing on with Red Eyes Week. So today we are looking at a fake Red Eyes card sent to me by our friend Green Gamer here. So today we are looking at Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon. So it's kind of like Darkness Metal Dragon except the two words are switched, which is fine, it's fine. Carter definitely does look like a Metal Darkness Dragon, definitely. So it is a level 10 Dark Dragon that has 3,600 attack and 3,200 defense feature monster. So the stats are fairly strong, fairly strong. 3,600 attack, 3,200 defense is very high for a uh, Red Eyes-esque monster. But I mean, it's a feature monster, so understandable, understandable. Uh, materials are one level seven Red Eyes monster plus one dark dragon type monster whose original level is eight or higher. So, we actually have a couple of explanations and reasons behind this card, which is not what we usually get when it comes to these fake cards. So, the reason why the level is 10, same as Red Eyes, Darkness, Battle, Dragon. Uh, attribute and type, of course, are the same as most Red Eyes monsters, being Dark and Dragon. Uh, attack and defense, high stats, but not ridiculous. So, said high stats, but generally the fusion for Red Eyes monsters, stats are generally up that high, so that's fine. Uh, the materials, uh, of course, are supposed to be Red Eyes, because, you know, uh, one level seven red eyes monster, which it doesn't have to be red eyes by dragon, it could be any level seven or uh, red eyes monster because we know in Argotop they do have a couple of those generic red eyes monster. Uh, and the other material, the one dark dragon type monster whose original level is eight or higher, that's either supposed to be red eyes black metal dragon, red eyes darkness dragon, or red eyes darkness metal dragon. So there's a couple of plans, but of course, you could just go ahead and uh, throw one of those into your deck uh, and you know, use your Red Eyes Fusion and Fusion your deck to summon this card. So, um, fairly strong, fairly strong. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this effect to determine whether this card is really good because right now it's just a big beater. So, uh, apparently it has to do with Joey's luck and rolling a die. Because of course you guys know that Joey is a very lucky duelist. A lot of his cards are based on luck. Not a lot of skill, more luck based. So we'll go ahead and make a fake card reflecting that. So apparently with this effect, you're going to roll a die. So let's go ahead and look at these die effects. So once per turn, roll a six-sided die and apply the results. So we're going to go ahead and start at two because once you hear one or six, you're going to be like, oh, no, 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 no. You thought Snipe Hunter was bad. So two, your red eyes monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects until your opponent's end phase. So that's actually pretty good. I believe that he's pulling these effects from... Uh, some of the monsters from the actual archetype. So he said, comes from one of the Gemini monsters, and red eyes monsters need protection, even if it's temporary. So you roll a two, your monsters can't be targeted or destroyed with conflicts, turning them into little magic specters for uh, a turn, well, until the end of your opponent's next turn, which is actually pretty good, pretty good, especially since this thing would be, uh, of course, a whopping 3,200, and just the fact that it can't be targeted or destroyed by uh, card effects for at least that one turn, uh, along with all the rest of your other red eyes monsters, is pretty good, pretty good. If you roll a three, you will inflict 500 damage to your opponent's life points for each Red Eyes monster in your graveyard. Now that is pretty strong. That that can that can add up real quick, and you could be easily burning for three, four thousand damage. So definitely, definitely powerful. Uh, of course, you guys know that uh, the Red Eyes archetype or support definitely does do a decent amount of burn. So just the fact that you threw that in there, and if you roll a three, you can easily game your opponent on top of attacking with this 3,600 monster. Holy crap, that could be a lot of damage adding up and stacking up quickly. All right, uh, if you roll a four, you bench all face-up monsters your opponent controls with defense lower than this card's attack. So pretty much everything, because this thing is 3,600. I seriously doubt that your opponent's going to have a monster on their field that has defense higher than 36 freaking hundred. So you're pretty much banishing everything uh, on your opponent's side of the field that's face up. So wow, that is, that's very strong. And of course, this also comes from another one of the Gemini monsters in the archetype and the fact that you just got roll four, banish all of that, hit you directly for 36 is, wow, that, that's also powerful as well. And then if you roll a five, target any number of red-eyed monsters in your graveyard, special summon them, wow. So a mass soul charge special summon from the graveyard. You can still, you know, Connect your battle faith and everything. You just summon everybody back. So if you roll a five, wow, definitely. The new ride support has a decent amount of revival. And this card is very powerful in that effect. So if you roll a five, wow. So you roll a two, you protect from being targeted and destroyed. If you roll a three, you inflict a whole bunch of burn. If you roll a four, 
then you get to banish pretty much everything your opponent controls that's face up. And if you're all five, you get a mass revival from the graveyard. Wow, all of these effects are really great. But of course, since it is Joey's card, and of course this is based off of luck, and what's one of Joey's most lucky cards? Of course, Time Wizard. This got to be a powerful, powerful drawback. So. Similar to Snipe Hunter, if you roll a 1 or a 6, Snipe Hunter, you just don't get to pop the card, so you just went neg with your pitch. Oh, well, okay. If you roll a 1 or a 6 with this card, your opponent draws two cards. Oh, 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 that hurts right there, right there. That that that, that hurts so much. All right, we already know rule number one of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw, all right? And then, of course, you can't forget about rule number two in Yu-Gi-Oh. Never let your opponent draw. So... Not only would you not be getting one of the other most powerful effects, the 2, 3, 4, or 5, but you let your opponent draw two cards, which of course means more resources for them to handle this card the next turn. So that's definitely Joey S the drawback, because of course if Joey had this card and played it, he would of course get the exact effect that he needed all the time. But it seems like this card's real and you play it, you went first, you play like fucking like Red Eyes Fusion summon this first turn, uses the effect, and you roll a fucking one or a six and allow your opponent to draw two cards. I mean, they start off with five. They're drawing two, so that's seven. And they draw for the turn, that's eight. It's eight freaking cards. Like, oh, no, 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 no. That is, whoo, whoo. But this that, this card is definitely Joey-esque. I can, I can give that to you, Green Gamer. So I'm going to give you a thumbs up. But wow, your opponent draws two cards. That, that kills me on the inside. I die a little bit on the inside. All right, people. So that's it for this Fake Card Friday. So tell me what you guys think about Green Gamer's uh, fusion monster, red eyes, fake fusion monster here, red eyes, metal darkness dragon in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed red eyes week. Uh, it was fun. It was fun looking at some red eyes cards that they're starting to get a little bit less sacky and a little bit more solid. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh related content, some more Yu-Gi-Oh legacy of the door. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you are uh kept updated whenever i upload a video so thanks for watching thanks for all support and i will see you guys tomorrow all right people thanks for watching